Louisiana Beer Reviews. Cerveza Monterey. <coughs> Sabor Incomparable. Imported Beer. Best by July 18th of 2023. All right. 5.3% alcohol. Higher than normal. Uh, clear yellow fizzy stuff beer. Clear bottle. And this is brewed and bottled by Cerveceria Centro Americana. Product of Guatemala. And that brewery was established in 1886. And they still brew in a lot of beer especially their famous Gallo beer, which I wish we got more of that here. It's sold in the United States as Famosa because of trademark conflict issues. But anyway, this is imported by GK Skaggs, which they don't show it on their website. GK Skaggs of Irvine, California, and, uh, and they import a lot of liquor, wine, and beer. And I bought this at Aldi. I guess it's an Aldi only product. I know at Whole Foods Market, I believe it. I believe it was Whole Foods. It might have been somewhere else. They had the Caguama, which was like another uh, Corona Extra knockoff, and uh, it was okay. Had the turtle on the label. It was in a big bottle. I never saw it again. They might still make it. The reviews for this are terrible. It gets a 69 out of 100 on Beer Advocate. Awful. A one out of one. A one out of 100 on Rape Beer. Undrinkable. Poisonous. They're saying. 25 in the style. They like. They hate the style, so they're giving it a higher score in the style. Um. Yeah, 12 ounces. Uh. It gets like a 49 on untapped, so they don't like it either. All right. So is it going to be as good as Corona Extra? Now, there is no Monterey, Guatemala. So I guess they're naming it out of, after Monterey, Mexico, which is not in the tropics. Uh, it's up in the mountains out in the kind of the desert area of Mexico, northern Mexico. But with the huge brewery, by the way. All right. Let's go with the news. Six... Six ninety nine for the six pack. Um, well, just get pale malt corn, like a, a light white bread, white bread, or as some people I think up north call it light bread, kind of thing. Looks like Corona in a light gold clear appearance. Little bubble, little bit of bubble action, little bit of head, some lacing. There are some video reviews for this, not as many as I thought, actually. I think I found the trademark goes back to the year 2000. And it said it's owned by Aldi. This trademark is owned by Aldi. It seems like I've seen it other places, though. But... That's the case for other brands that supposedly are only at certain stores. Like Grand Legacy Canadian Whiskey, which I saw today. Not at the store it's supposed to be at. It's very dry. It's drier than Corona Extra, actually. Um, I'm getting thirsty drinking. Oh, no, it's like extremely dry. It um, kind of reminds me of those Japanese dry beers. Or this one that was I bought in 1998 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Dry Olympia. I'm trying to make it look like Asahi dry. Super dry. So on the um, sweetness scale, <laughs> I would say one and a half out of five sugar cubes. So it's unusual in that sense. Bitterness scale. One out of five hop cones. So 
Very low bitterness, very low sweetness. Now, is it no taste? No, that isn't so. You get the... Now, at 5.3, it's more like a malt liquor. Guatemalan malt liquor. I know Famosa is not 5.3. But if you, if you look at the Cerveceria Americana website, which is very involved, you better have some a good amount of free time. They, um, they have all kind of beers. I never heard of these beers. Just all kinds. I said, oh man, you know, dark. Box, all kind of stuff. I said, man. We'd buy them if they gave it, you know, if they made it available. They ought to bring them all to Aldi. You can use an alternative name if they want. Uh, Gallo is so good. But then if you look at the ratings on Gallo, or Famosa, here, they're terrible. Like, I tell you, it's, it's like undrinkable, which is nowhere near the truth. Nice lacing. Okay. Six-pack of Corona right now is like $8.99. This is $6.99. I mean, I'm saying Corona. I, I, I assume that's what they're going after, but I don't know. It's just they're selling it, okay? Clear bottle, pry cap. I mean, Corona's only 4.6, so it's got a lot more body, a lot more alcohol. It's really not like Corona. Um, maybe there was a Corona malt liquor. Always oh, malt liquor. Nice lacing, really, when you think about it. First of all, let me say before I even give the taste description, there is no way that this is a 1 out of 100. That's impossible. Okay, that's so disregard that. Now let's go on. Yeah, high, medium, eh, medium body, but it's heading toward high, and then a dry finish, mostly dry finish. Not necessarily crisp, but then, you know, like, is Magnum malt liquor crisp? I think Magnum might have come back. Hadn't seen it on the shelves, though. Been seeing Old English ever, or uh, those are 5.6 and 5.9. Yeah, it's sort of like that corn, the Mexican corn. Guatemala's just south of Mexico. Um, they may get similar type corn. It's got a sweetness. That I wasn't picking up at first. So this beer de does develop a little bit. Hmm. So I was saying low sweetness. I'm going to go three out of five sugar cubes now because uh, it's just starting to develop some kind of way. Um, so it's like corn and some kind of sourdough bread. I almost was going to say grapes. Like Grape drink, grape, because you get those with the really cheap American lagers, which I never want to taste again in my life. My life. <laughs> but I don't ever see those atrocities anymore, like beer 30. And Milwaukee Special Reserve. Oh, <laughs> I guess they had a problem, you know, because, like, nobody would buy them. No, no matter where they were sold, I, I guess that was the general thing. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a little sour taste. If this is supposed to mimic Corona Extra, forget it, it doesn't. No. Or Corta Blanca. Or Dos Equis. Or Tecate. Or soul, maybe soul, a little bit. Or modelo especial. 
it's it's a unique product, meaning it's unlike anything else. I think the low scores in some respects are coming from the fact that it is supposedly an Aldi I say supposedly an Aldi I guess it is an Aldi um what you call store brand. But like a with the hot with the uh, that Dutch one, Holland, 1839. I saw that at a different store in uh, Florida. <clears throat> but I think that's owned, that trademark for that one is owned by the um, Schwinkels Royal Brewery. Um, and just sold to Aldi. It's not owned by Aldi. I got five more. I could see drinking this. You know, it's in some ways... In some ways it has more character than Corona extra but this is definitely a Central Americana beer like you know a cerveza Central Americana it's it's different it's like you go to a Mexican restaurant and then you go to a Honduran you know a Honduran Honduran restaurant and it's not the same <laughs> you know it just it's similar but it's not it's not too not too similar and this beer is the same way And I think the Guatemalan, the Salvadoran, the Belizean, which is more British Commonwealth than the Spanish Empire, but you know what I'm saying, the uh, Panamanian, Costa Rican, Nicaraguan, they're just different. They're not going to be the same as Mexican. They're going to have some similarities, and the Mexicans are going to have some similarities to American lagers, but not, not too close. This is the same. It just you go further south, <laughs> and then the South American, these, yeah, these are more similar to South American. Hmm, crazy, huh? Bitterness? Nope. Maltiness is coming out. Um, I'd love to tour that brewery in Ciudad Guatemala. Guatemala. Um, yeah. Cesar telling me, you should go, you should go there. Um... I'm gonna give it a score now. This is this is tough because there's like a whole lot of rigmarole with it. Like, so you're trying to decide it. Are you crazy? You know, am I crazy? I don't think I'm crazy. So the sweetness builds as you drink it, the bitterness stays the same. The enjoyment factor kind of goes up. And the, and this this is a very clean glass, and the fact that this lacing is left behind is a good sign. I just think it's a well-made beer. I don't understand. I do understand actually the the one out of 169. It's because they know who's who it's made for, and when you say private label to people, automatically poof, scores go low. Twenty years ago, okay, I could get that. Uh, they got some pretty grim products on the shelves. Ten years ago, it was starting to improve, but it was still not too good. Now. They did a great job improving those Trader Joe's, Bosom beers and all. I mean, it's like a different world with those. And so that it could be happening at Aldi. Maybe I'm at the point where it's really start to get better, you know. <laughs> I'm going to go with a B, a B. 87 out of 100. And I think the score will, will go higher. I might do a revisit at, at some point. So 8.7 out of 10. A B, a good beer. I don't get the, the hate. But I'm going to be curious to read those written reviews and watch the videos. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to, and they do give tours there. I'm pretty sure y'all go to Guatemala City and tour the Cerveceria Americana.